Hello and welcome back to a new Android Engine for You video. In this tutorial, we'll be speaking about uh, the distance field GPU particle collision, which is a recent feature within Android Engine 4.9. Okay, so let's start by making a particle system and let's call it uh, anything. Open this particle system. And here there's some uh, conditions which is needed in order to have this distance field GPU particle collision. So first we need to have a collision uh, module to be added here. So uh, in collision we just add a collision module. And second thing we need to convert these particles to be a GPU particles data to be a GPU sprite. A last thing is to set here in this collision module, oh sorry, could not be selected. Uh, okay. Let's remove this module and let's add collision module again. And let's set it to distance field. But as you can see, there is an error here. This error means that we need to set in the project setting is some peak settings. Project settings and rendering settings. And let's generate mesh distance field. And as you can see, it requires to restart the editor. Once we restart the editor, you'll see that this error will be disappeared. So restart now, and let's save the particles. Okay, store. As you can see, there is no more errors and the collision is set to distance field, which means that the particles will be working fine now. But also just to be able to see this, because as you can see, it, it will be just a couple of particles. We need to <coughs> change some stuff here and the rate. Let's say the rate is 100 or so, and let's go set it to 4 or something. And the lifetime, let's increase the lifetime of the particles itself. Let's say it's between 5 seconds or so to 10. And that's enough for me. Just drag this, put it here, and let's rotate or so so we can see some collision. So yeah, as you can see it would be colliding here, so it would be colliding fine, uh, and as it's recommended by Epic that this method is better and more efficient when you have more particles and it will be colliding with the whole scene which means that if we move one of these objects here for example let's get it here it will be fully collided as you can see which is amazing one more thing to mention that as you can see I usually record my videos with Mac but I done recorded this on Windows because uh, it's not working Mac, or another meaning that it's not supported, this feature is not supported with Shader Model 5. Uh, sorry, it's supported with Shader Model 5, and Mac tells the latest version 10.10. something, it's still Shader Model 4. And for you, in order to know that if your uh, OS, if your Windows version is supporting Shader Model 4, 5, or whatever, as long as you have DirectX 11, it means that you are probably running uh, Shader Model 5. But also, just to, to know, you have to check uh, in the. Uh, okay, you, you need to run and check in, yeah, DirectX dialog. In DirectX dialog, you will know the DirectX version. If it's 11 or 11 point something, okay, it means that you're on Shader Model 5. If it's less, 10 or whatever, it means Shader Model 4 or 3 or whatever. But yeah, so as you can see, here's the comes fully collided with the environment. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like Facebook page, and follow on Twitter, ask for any new tutorials or whatever. Thank you. Bye.